Well, my guests today are Mike Chupp, the CEO of the Christian Medical and Dental Association, and the Vice President of Advocacy, Jeff Barrows. Uh, we've got a marvelous uh, podcast that we've just finished, but I want to introduce these people to you just in case you didn't have 40 minutes to invest in listening to the podcast. These guys are doing some fabulous work um, in state uh, government around the around the country. Guys, what are you and what what are you involved in? And give us some ideas of some victories that you've had. Well, thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Um, I am the CEO. I've been here at CMDA for about six years and uh, CMDA is very complicated. And I'm, I'm going to give uh, I'm going to ask Jeff Barrows to talk about what we're doing in advocacy in terms of some recent victories. But uh, we, we feel the greatest privilege in the world is to be servants of Jesus Christ. And uh, within within healthcare, it's a great privilege to behave, to model ourselves after the great physician. And uh, we have about 13,000 members, and uh, all of them are involved in one way or another in one of these many ministries. Some are care deeply about mentoring and get involved in mentoring the next generation, uh, some involved in advocacy, some involved in missions. Many, I was a missionary for uh, 20 years in Kenya um, as, a, as a general surgeon, uh, and then we're, we're equipping our members. But in terms of victories, I think uh, what they're going to hear on the podcast is about advocacy and public policy. So, Jeff, uh, why don't you talk about our victories? Yeah, thank you, Mike. And uh, Chuck, thank you for having us on. It's uh, it's an honor to head up the advocacy efforts at CMDA. And our main focus has been uh, on the beginning of life, the end of life, conscience freedoms, as well as the whole new, what we call the transgender tsunami that has been sweeping across the country. And I would say that our victories have been at the state level. Uh, we've been involved and engaged in well over 100 different state bills through our American Academy of Medical Ethics. And if you look across the geographic United States, uh, it may not surprise your listeners that uh, the vast majority of our victories have been in the Southern United States, uh, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. We were successful in passing through uh, abortion bans in both of those states, uh, 12 weeks in North Carolina, six weeks in South Carolina. We had success in a transgender uh, bill that will prevent uh, gender transition in minors in, in Florida and in Texas. Uh, and so we're, we're still working at the end of this legislative session and very, very glad to be with you today to share more with your listeners. And most recently in a non-Southern state, Nebraska. Exactly right. Yes. Uh, a two for one in Nebraska, a pro-life bill as well as an anti-gender uh, transition bill for minors. So we were very thrilled that just came through this last week. Well, one part of our podcast that I want to make sure and talk about is uh, your role as Pinnacle Forum partners or um, listeners to this podcast. And that would be when you're talking to your physician or your dentist who is a Christian uh, to ask them if they're a part of the CMDA. And if they're not, to ask them why. Why are you letting somebody else fight the culture war on your behalf, why aren't you getting involved, at least contributing um, by being a member? Uh, why would you set out the war that could lead, that could potentially cost you your, your, well, make you go against your faith and or cost you your profession? Um, so I want you to think about that. Um, and listen, listen if you can to the podcast. If not, go online to cmda.org. Uh, it's either slash give, slash ethics, slash join. Um, just look at cmda.org and see the work that these guys are doing. And uh, think about whether, whether you could play a role in that. Uh, hope you'll listen to the podcast. But if not, um, you, know, you now know Mike and Jeff and a little bit about their backgrounds. Thanks for listening.